And now to another equally serious problem, the record level of unemployment. Now, some people argue this crisis is the result of government mismanagement and underspending. Well, they could not be more wrong. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, because we all know what really causes unemployment in this country, don't we, gentlemen? Unemployment in this country is caused by pixies. I don't mean the nice, ordinary ones who sit on toadstools playing a whistle. I'm talking about the nasty, evil, malevolent pixies. The tiny green ones with the black pointy beards who go around our factories, and we've all seen them, who go around our factories casting their wicked spells and bringing about mass redundancies on a scale not witnessed since the Great Depression. When did you actually form this theory, Prime Minister? Well, to be perfectly honest, Nigel, the uh, pieces only really sort of gelled in my mind, so to speak, last weekend. I was up visiting a factory in Stockport. Literally hundreds had lost their jobs, and small wonder, the place was crawling with them. With, um, pixies? Yeah, pixies, sprites, elfin folk, all manner of goblinry. Certainly opened my eyes, I can tell you. And that's why I've launched this new campaign. I see. What campaign? The Stamp Out Evil Pixies campaign. The public have got to be educated on this one, Nigel. <laughs> Mostly, they're about seven and a half inches tall, and they get in through the air vents. Now, the worst type of all are the invisible ones. Morning. Morning. Morning, Prime Minister. It's all right, ladies and gentlemen. Nest of leprechauns in the bread bin. Right, down to business. Good. Well, having established the root causes of stagnation in the country, what we need now is a radical job creation program. Now, I've devised one here that will create half a million new jobs in its first year of operation. Basically, the scheme works like this. Every week, 10,000 working people jump off a cliff, thus creating 10,000 new jobs. I've uh, drawn up a white paper here, gentlemen, if you care to cast your eyes over it. <coughs> Well, I think he's bloody marvellous. He brought us through the war, and I think he could do the same for the economy. Oh, yes! I am. I'm proud to leave to my certain death for Britain. Bye. Well done. Ah, oh, hello. How are you? Oh, I'm fine, sir. Jolly good. What do you do? Uh, well, I'm in industrial engineering, sir. Oh, that's super. We can certainly do with a lot more vacancies there. <laughs> you get everything you want? How about if I give this one a little push? Good. Good for you. Good for you. Good for me. There we are. Little push. How's that? Good. Ah. Right. OK. Next. They do add up. May seem a little severe, I agree, but then it's always the horrid-tasting medicine that does you the most good. <laughs>